I don't know if you saw this, Will, the new DJI FPV drone, it's it's a real thing. I think we talked about, we saw some clips of it earlier, but like it's out now. And this is a mixture. It's like a hybrid. It's kind of like one of those racing drones, but it's also a cinema drone for shooting video and all that. Cool. And it's, uh, I believe it's the fastest drone that they've done, DJI. Now, a lot of people who don't know about the racing drone scene, there are faster drones out there than this one. I'm not saying I know a lot about it, but I do know that much. Yes, the racing ones. Those racing ones can fly, man. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we have a uh, an actual an actual reading here on the article about how fast they can get. I mean, this setup looks really cool. Yeah, that that's that's their new drone. Especially the goggles. Let me see something right here. How fast Very do those cool. racing drones go? I promise you it was in here. Oh, there we go. The DJI FPV can't quite match the 120 mile per hour top speeds oh. of pro racing drones. And they One, turn on a dime. 120 miles per hour, dude. One twenty, like we're not talking KMs, like uh, uh, Team Canada over here. Uh -huh. Talk about miles per hour, mm -hmm. and uh, but anyway, this this uh, this new one has a top speed. The new DJI product has a top speed of eighty seven miles per hour. It's no joke. It can go from zero to sixty two in just two seconds. Mm. This that's as fast as that car, right there, right there. That's faster than that car. Yeah, zero to sixty two in two seconds. We should have a race or something. Should we do that? Let's set it up. Should we do that race, the new FPV drone versus that? And anyway, the key thing here is, yes, you can still shoot great video with it, but really it's it's going to bring the racing drone experience to a lot more people because of, you know, DJI, the brand name and whatnot. And so unlike the cinema type drones where you're going to have a screen and a controller, it's going to put a lot of people inside the headset and they're going to feel like a bird over there. Mm -hmm. You know flying man and it's a type of experience i haven't had it yet and you have to be sitting down to demand this this is uh, no no no. these guys just, how, they just look how crazy they stand thing. up man it's i like mean they don't stand on the edge of a cliff or anything but they stand up and man it or I mean, i'll sit down it isn't whatever yeah look I, at it following these cars uh, man i mean come on i would i would totally fall over no it's it's it is very cool stuff and people are gonna do uh, amazing amazing cinematography they weren't doing before mm -hmm. because now they got this maneuverability and speed and they're going to figure out how to use it and you know the clips are about to come and they're going to be pretty nice and you get to look uh, very futuristic with that particular headset on. Anyway, uh, it, it is available now. It can shoot 4K 60 video with rock steady image stabilization and a 120 megabit per second uh, bit rate. And it has a 150 degree wide angle lens, a one by two, three inch CMOS sensor. And uh, what else? DJI Mini 2's chip. So it's an interesting choice for people now. Now, it's not going to be cheap, obviously. It'll cost you a few dollars. I, I don't know if they actually listed the price. Oh, they do. They have the price here, $12.99. The hmm. standard DJI FPV combo, which includes the FPV, FPV drone remote control and the goggles, is $12.99. And if you need more range, you can get the Fly More Kit, which gives you two extra batteries and a dedicated charging hub for an extra $299. And then the optional motion controller is available for an extra $199. So you could kit it out to, I mean, you could spend some money on it, but it looks like the main kit, $1299, seems kind of reasonable for what it is. I don't know. That's my point of view, but it's 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 hard to know because you, you you're, you're wondering what the market is right now given the landscape of things people's disposable income and such at the mm -hmm. moment are people goofing around with drones as much i don't know but if you were going to be you might set your sights on this one because you can have some fun you don't even need to be shooting video will i really believe you could go out to a nice landscape and just want to fly just fly yeah you know it might not even necessarily be about the video